All right, I'm trying what everyone else has tried. Well, not everyone else. What we have is the EcoFlow Delta Pro, and it is plugged into the 30 amper with the adapter, which uh, you've seen online. And then we got the mobile charger, and uh, it's set the car set to 32 amps. We got the uh, grounding plug that's plugged into one of the ports, and it's pulling, yeah, as you can see, about 3.7, 3.8 uh, kilowatts and it will drain this entire thing in 17 minutes. So you just need this adapter to fit the uh, 30 amp to a NEMA 1450 and then this, but you can also get, you can just plug it directly with the, the what is it, the NEMA 15, what was that, 515? The, the, an outlet, basically, an outlet plug. So it's working, you can see that thing giving juice away right there, and then the cables right here. It's basically doing this. And I have the EcoFlow uh, Dell or the EcoFlow uh, 1000 watt solar panels. You can charge one of these up. I've already timed it many times. This will charge probably, um, if it was flat, probably in a day with a decent sunlight, about seven hours, eight hours, it will be fully charged from one of those uh, 1000 watt um, panels. So this is the perfect gas can if you need it to so just throw it in the trunk and take it with you. And it works completely fine. It's a portable sending unit. Awesome. Mm, okay. That feels so tired. <laughs> now I'm just showing right here that I actually had to lower the um, the amps to 30 amps in the car because um, to be fair, it was pulling past 3,600 watts for this EcoFlow um, Delta Max, and it can only give you 3,600 watts continuous power. If you go past that con to continuous, it can do up to 7,200 watts for safety, but not continuous, and then it shut down. So I had to unplug it from the Tesla here. I had to unplug it. It was saying errored out, and, and it had a, like a little breaker, and it shut off. So basically, I unplugged it, turned that back on, set your Tesla to charge at 30 amps, because that's a 30 amp plug. Just like if you only had the NEMA, what is it, 515? It's like, or 520 in this case it can only charge up to 20 amps safely and continuously so you set it like that so now I set it for 30 and lo and behold it's getting there around 3600 watts of continuous and it will be drained in uh, nine minutes they said so I just wanted to note that that uh, you know I made a boo-boo and I had it charging at the max of this uh, mobile charger at 32 and 32 drew as you saw earlier 38 3700 watts and the machine eventually didn't like that and it shut off reset it, hit that um, AC button back on, and then set it properly, plug it in, and now she's purring like a kitten until she'll drain out. And we're just doing a test on that, but it's working like a champ so far.